Kingdom Party Radio Show with R.J. Groove. Yes, sir. We got a big show for you today, man, on that KingdomPartyRadio.com. Follow me on Instagram at I am R.J. Groove. Mr. Dale is on his way to the studio. HD2, baby. In the game coach, I've been practicing all season. My government is Larry's. So I guess it makes Allow me to reintroduce myself. Mr. Dale, born and raised in M-Town, Memphis, Tennessee. I rep it to death. I'm coming out to hypnotize camp. Le Chat. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Dale. 36 Mafia, Juicy J, uh, was my mentor. He put me in the game. He recognized my talent. Well, shoot, Hope Dealer, we talking about many, many years ago. Um, it was really one of the songs that had like this Memphis swag on it. Um, at the time, I don't even think I was saved when I heard Hope Dealer, but I was bumping that because the beat caught me. Then when I heard the lyrics, the grittiness of the music, it was it was crazy. So, you know, I've been on Mr. Dale for almost a decade. Oh, yeah. Well, the Sorry. title alone has its own energy. It says so much. Um, in 2007, you're talking about seven years ago where... Um, you know, the country was really going through financially, you know, economic crash and all that. And so it was a real time where people needed hope, where, where people were really searching for hope. People were committing suicide, all type of things were going. So uh, a record like Hope Dealer was something that, you know, to give hope to not only the hood, you know, because, you know, usually people hear rap and they think just hood, but this right here gave hope to all different types of people from all different types of places, you know, and so uh, it was much needed, um, and the energy was incredible. Well, I mean, uh, that that's actually very exciting to me um, because, you know, the first one was fine, now I'm on a part two, so it's kind of like, you know, before I was saved, I heard it, now I'm saved and I'm on it. So that just kind of show you what God can do, but the song is crazy, y'all gonna love the hook, y'all gonna love the verses on there. It's very exciting. Y'all gonna enjoy yourselves. You need to buy that as soon as it come out. I think he's giving us ownership and uh, he's causing us to go our own way. Um, he's teaching us uh, the skills we need in business to make sure that we have a future. And I want to encourage any other artists that may feel left out or lost or even abused uh, by the industry and encourage you to take ownership, work hard, get knowledge, get a good team around you and make something happen. Yeah, I think um, uh, one thing about secular artists, they don't think they're secular. <laughs> it's only it's only church people that think they're secular. You know, there are people that have genuine relationships with God that, that are, you know, unique in, to their own lifestyle and their situation, not condoning anything that they do or don't do. Um, but uh, this, uh, I feel like secular means without God. And I feel like sometimes these people just have different walks with God. So it's our job as disciples and fishers of men um, uh, to go and walk with somebody, you know. And I feel like it, that was the process of walking with somebody, to come on a common ground, which is music, um, not compromising, but those people actually uh, cleaning up their, their act to be on a song with us. I feel like that's, that's something big to say, wow, wow. They allowed me, knowing the mistakes that I made, to be on a song with them and not acting holier than thou. Yo, Todd Tribbett here. First of all, I shut my phone down. My phone just cut off. After I got it. That's how hot it is. That's how substantial it is. I love it. The Holy Ghost. Now throw the matches up. Throw the 